I have no idea why Mike Tyson is doing this to himself. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm your host, Gabbo Say So, and we're back with another one. We got Mike Tyson sparring versus Jake Paul leak footage. Before we get into the video, man, I just want to say how much I hate Jake Paul, bro. And hate is a strong word. I personally don't really hate him because I don't know him. For a fighter in his 20s to take on one of boxing's glorified boxes of all time, we're talking Mike Tyson. I hate it. Mike Tyson is now 50,000 years old and this kid gets an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with the great one and I we, we, we just hate it, bro. Mike Tyson's old as shit. He's beyond long in the tooth. We have a rottening tooth entering back into a ring versus a kid who's not a very good boxer, but he's in the prime years of just his life. <laughs> Forget the boxing career. This kid is in the prime years of life. He's probably the strongest he's ever been, the most athletic he's ever been, and he gets to take on basically a senior citizen that we all loved and appreciated. We get the nice version of Mike Tyson because we all know Mike Tyson in his prime, Jake Paul wouldn't step foot. <laughs> he would not step foot in that box, in that ring with a prime Mike Tyson. I'm talking about train two weeks I had to marry my best friend <clears throat> and I dedicated this fight I wasn't gonna fight I dedicated this fight to him I was fighting with pain harder. I'm the best ever I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been there's no one can stop me Links is a conqueror no I'm Alexander he's no Alexander I'm the best ever there's never been anybody I'm Sonny Liston I'm Jack Dempsey there's no one like I'm from Nashville there's no one that can match me my style is impeccable my defense is impregnable and I'm just ferocious I want your heart I'm gonna eat Children. Praise be to Allah. Yo, this ain't the mic that Jake Paul is getting, bro. You know what I mean? If that was the mic entering this ring, Jake Paul would want no sauce. But unfortunately, he's getting an old man, Mike Tyson, who's apparently making his way back into the ring. Oh, gosh. And we're all just at this point praying he doesn't get knocked out or, or suffer a serious injury at his age. He shouldn't be taking blows to the head or really blows in general, bro. Mike Tyson's approaching. We want to preserve the life of the great ones. You know what I'm saying? We already lost Ali and a lot of boxing greats. We don't want to see Mike Tyson apply any more damage to that brain that had to be reconstructed to learn how to be human, that had to learn how to be nice to people. But apparently we got some leaked footage and we're going to get right into it, bro. This breaks my heart. I'm kind of hoping Mike Tyson lays this kid out. Flat ass up. No diddy. Come on. Come on. Nope. Come on. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson sparring footage has just leaked, and things have started to get more intense. Nice one, Mike. Nice one, Mike. Jeez. Nice one, Mike. Bye. So the showdown between Tyson and Jake Paul has electrified the boxing world, capturing the undivided attention of enthusiasts. With anticipation mounting, even Roy Jones Jr., who engaged Tyson in an exhibition match back in November 2020, has stepped forward to offer his insights on the potential outcome of this eagerly awaited Mike is 57. Bout. What's happening? <clears throat> this is your boy Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, about the Jake Paul Tyson fight. The Jake Paul Tyson fight, you know, it's not an exhibition that I heard it's been upgraded to a fight. If it's a fight, it's very intriguing how it may turn out because Jake Paul has gotten a lot better with his boxing over the days, but Mike Tyson, even at 57, 58, however old he is, he's still Mike Tyson. Facts. Boxing in 21, he's still punched like Mike Tyson. If he hits anybody square on the chin, it's going to be problematic. I don't care who it is. So... I like Jake Paul. He's a good guy. I think he's doing good with his boxing stuff. I think it's a great promotional situation for him and Mike. Um, they should do really good numbers, especially having it upgraded to a real fight. Jeez. Mike so this out. is basically going on Mike's record. Oh, my God. Mike is 57. Oh, man. He's Mike like Mike normally does. And he's pretty tough for Jake. Now, if Jake stay away from him about four or five rounds, then Jake has a chance. But you gotta do a lot of maneuvering to stay away from it. So yeah, that's my take. Thank you. 
In addition, Jones Jr. acknowledged that the fight has been upgraded to a professional one, claiming, It's very intriguing how it may turn out because Jake Paul has gotten a lot better as a boxer over the days. However, Captain Hook cautioned Paul about overlooking Tyson's power because of his age. Jones firmly believed that should Tyson land a solid blow on Paul's jaw, Paul wouldn't stand a chance against the raw might packed in Mike's punch. Even still, Jones Jr. has the perfect game plan ready for the problem child, stating, If Jake stays away from him for four or five rounds, then Jake has a chance. Jones emphasized that that Paul would need to employ extensive tactics to execute this strategy and emerge victorious in the upcoming bout. Despite Jones Jr.'s endorsement of the fight, despite the significant age difference of over three decades, apprehensions have surfaced following a medical advisory decades. issued to Tyson. Similarly, Sean Strickland held nothing back when assessing the fight between Tyson and Paul. Strickland called Paul a disgrace for fighting Tyson in a vicious rant. Asked about Tyson versus Paul, he replied, It's bullshit. How old is Mike Tyson? Jake Paul, you are a disgrace of a man. You are the epitome of weakness. You are the scum of the earth. Moreover, Sheesh. Strickland said Paul made him disgusted as he kept on verbally destroying the boxer. He added, The fact that you even have a platform or anything of that nature is a slight on society. You truly make me f***ing disgusted. If I ever encounter you in real life, I hope that I just don't lose my sh and go to prison. Similarly, UFC fighter Colby Covington appears unfazed by the spectacle, boldly dismissing Jake Paul's boxing endeavors with his outspoken remarks. Colby Covington vehemently opposes the notion of Paul being a genuine boxer, denouncing Paul's boxing endeavors as nothing but a charade. Covington didn't hold back during a recent podcast, launching a verbal onslaught against the 27-year-old sensation. Yeah, all of Jake Paul's accomplishments have been rigged. They've, they've set up the deck against him from the start. Look, he fought the shortest guy in the NBA to start his career against Nate Robinson. Yeah, Nate Robinson. He had like a 70 pound advantage. Everybody yeah. was like pissed. Like this guy's seven inches taller, a hundred pounds bigger, and, and you're mm -hmm. picking on this little NBA player and you think you're tough because of that? Yeah. That doesn't make you tough, dude, just because you're beating up little guys and being a bully. So Jake Paul yeah. so far has competed in 10 boxing matches, winning I'll a majority. I'll give Jake Paul Ty Tyron Woodley. Out of all the boxing fights in his career, Nate Robinson didn't really count to me, although he made Nate like he made Nate viral for the wrong reasons. Tyron Woodley was a decent knockout. Everything else was kind of like a fart in the wind. Nothing really memorable that I'll take to the bank. You know what I'm saying? So, but it is what it is. Three of the matches except for one. But Colby Covington was not impressed with that. He claimed that all of the problem child's fights till now have been <laughs> died. The first fight, he, he, you could tell he was holding back. He dropped him out of the ring and he came back in and then you could tell Jake made a little signal to him and then he started going light and he didn't go hard. And then he only won a split decision that first fight. And then the, the second fight, look, there's like a little hand signal where yeah. he's like he's like this, and, and Woodley puts his hand down, and he knocks him out. He even dismissed Paul's win over his former UFC rival, Tyron Woodley. He said, Tyron Woodley was past his prime, and he obviously took a dive. The first fight, you could tell he was holding back. He dropped him out of the ring, and he came back in, and you could tell Jake made a little signal to him. And then he started going light. He did not go hard. In addition to his remarks, Covington also criticized Jake Paul's bout with Nate Diaz, suggesting that the fighter from Stockton mirrored Tyron Woodley's approach solely for financial gain. Yeah, dude, he, it's it's a freak show. 100%, I, I, I believe that every one of Jake Paul's fight is rigged. Even Nate Diaz? Even Nate Diaz, same thing. He just wanted to take a dive for the money. He, his UFC career is over. He couldn't hack it in the UFC no more with us, you know, all-stars, so he had to go take a dive. Meanwhile, numerous individuals have voiced apprehension about Tyson's well-being, pondering whether the esteemed boxing icon will emerge unscathed from the encounter. Stephen Hughes, a senior lecturer in medicine at Anglia Ruskin University, explored the potential outcomes. He said, the immediate effects may be minimal. The boxer could simply recover. But on some occasions, the effects may be devastating. A subdural hematoma can occur. In this condition, shearing forces cause tearing of bridging veins between the brain and blood vessels within the brain coverings, or meninges. Hughes is article delved deeply into the potential ramifications for iron in the event of sustaining significant physical harm during the altercation. The specialist highlighted the likelihood of Tyson recuperating from any potential injuries incurred during the skirmish, yet cautioned about the looming threat of enduring long-lasting damage. <sighs> However, Mike Tyson's coach, Rafael Cordero, dismissed assertions that the match would be irresponsible. He said, I believe we don't have to be concerned about it. We're talking about a two-time world champion. The guy didn't have 20 fights in two years. He knows how to fight. He's fought against the best guys in the world. When he steps inside the ring, he knows what to do. It's not something new for Mike, and this fight is no different. On the other hand, Hughes elaborated on the risks of sustaining numerous head impacts, emphasizing the potential development of subdural hematoma. This condition could result in lasting consequences, such as physical impairment and psychological distress. Hughes further emphasized the grave possibility of mortality under such circumstances. But Cordero added, he works hard every single day to go in there and try to knock Jake out from the beginning to the end. This is his style. Nobody has taught 
taught Mike Tyson how to fight. He's going to prove that in July. Cordero mentioned that Tyson trains hard every day with the goal of knocking out Jake from the start to the finish, highlighting that Tyson's fighting I style hope is so. innate, and he intends to demonstrate this in July. That'd he be added, crazy. You can see fire in his eyes when he trains, and he will never give less than that. I truly believe it is going to be a great show. Mike is going to step into the ring as the old Mike Tyson, and he's going to try and knock out Jake from the beginning. I'll the say end. this. Mike Tyson, to me, has always been a fighter first, a brawler first, someone that enjoys violence. Like, I, like, I always thought Mike has always had that loose chip, you know what I mean? Where it's like, he was one of those dudes that you couldn't play with as a kid because he didn't know his own strength. You know, we all had that one friend who you just couldn't play fight with because he hit you too hard. That was Mike, son. Especially when you hear the history about his upbringing. He really came from the mud. So I just think Mike is a fighter first and a human second. So that, therefore, like, I just, like, he's primed for this. I think Mike would fight at 100 years old if he could. You know what I mean? Like, that's who he is. All this that we're seeing now is something that he had to get taught later on in life. Tyson has commenced his training camp for the he upcoming never really summer quit match, boxing, potentially bro. set to take place in front of a crowd of 80,000 spectators. Cordero added, Jeez. he's already in shape, and we've started doing rounds. It's amazing to see him hitting mitts. Mike is a monster. I can guarantee Mike will touch Jake, and let's see how Jake reacts to that. Cordero expressed his belief that the match will be a great show, with Tyson entering the ring with the same vigor as in his prime, aiming to knock out Jake throughout the fight. He added, with all due respect, he's a good kid, but he hasn't faced anyone who is a legend in the sport. We are talking about one of the most popular people in the world. Meanwhile, we know that Mike Tyson's training videos stood out as a highlight amidst the criticisms surrounding the anticipated bout. Tyson consistently uploaded his training sessions to his ex account for four consecutive days. Here is what he shared on the fourth day. He's broke. However, UFC icon Chael Sonnen dismissed them as fraudulent in a recent video. This sentiment was echoed by current UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley, who delved into the Tyson vs. Paul fight in his latest YouTube upload. O'Malley, known as Sugar, thoroughly analyzed the situation and provided his perspective on the matter. O'Malley voiced some skepticism about the genuineness of Tyson's training videos, yet he opted not to deliver a definitive judgment on them. Unlike Sonnen, Sugar remarked, if you watch the quick little snippet, it's like, boo boom. If their current videos, or if they're videos from a few years ago, I don't know. Tyson's training footage caused a frenzy among combat sports enthusiasts who were astonished by the raw power behind his punches at the age of 57. Many For cautioned real. the problem child about the potential risks of his upcoming bout. However, the American gangster Sonnen clarified that the clips were from three years prior. Captured during Tyson's preparation for his showdown with Roy Jones Jr. fans are likely aware of Sonnen's penchant for disseminating pseudo-realistic information. With the exception of the Ooh. bad guy, there are no other credible sources corroborating Sonnen's claim that Tyson's training videos were recorded three years ago. Nevertheless, Sonnen's assertions might instill doubt among fans regarding Tyson's abilities, but Tyson shares his recent videos, putting an end to Sonnen's speculation. Here is the latest video from Tyson. Oh my god, bro. Oh no. Nah. Can't beat it. Oh no. Nah. Way forward. Not at 57. In 2002, Lewis and Tyson finally clashed in the boxing ring as they neared the sunset of their illustrious careers. Yet their encounter was not just a showdown. It was oh. a culmination of a shared past filled with intrigue Jeez. and rivalry. During an insightful conversation on the renowned Joe Rogan Experience podcast, ex-world champion Lewis delved into the intricate dynamics of their intense rivalry. He began, I remember going to the Catskills. I won the World Junior Championships in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, and I remember the American team were like, oh, you never fought the best. They told me it was Mike Tyson and Cus D'Amato. Lewis explained that a young Tyson would show respect to Lewis and even gave the Brit a glimpse of his incredible boxing knowledge. He said, The first time Tyson actually met me, he was a really nice guy. He took me to his room and showed me some old flicks that I have never seen before of old-time fighters. He would tell me about each fighter. He studied them. This was where he got his style of fighting from. However, everything shifted for Lewis the moment he entered the boxing ring with a 17-year-old powerhouse known as Iron Mike. Lewis said, First day in the gym, and when the bell went, he came across and he was trying to kill me. I tried the Muhammad <laughs> Ali thing, obviously, and stayed away from his power. But the first day was really hectic. The second day was hectic. But actually, on the last day, I got the better of him. Meanwhile, in terms of training footage leaked recently, in 
enthusiasts perceive a significant disparity even as Tyson nears the age of 58. The baddest man on the planet retains his formidable power and exceptional head movement. In the videos circulating online, he relentlessly unleashed powerful blows on his coach during pad work, followed by a vigorous assault on the punching bag. Although Paul has shown considerable improvement in his technique and speed, the stark contrast between the two is undeniable according to popular opinion. Check out this comparison video between the two fighters. <laughs> Come on. Mike has never missed a step, bro. Oh my god. And he a brawler. Mike is gonna look for contact, bro. Mike is not gonna dance. Mike is not gonna this dance, footage, bro. Fans have started to weigh in. One wrote, how is Mike so fucking fast? And a second said, Mike Tyson, a 57-year-old man is moving like a man in his 20s. This is a death sentence. A third commented, if this is a real fight and not just a publicity stunt, then Jake is a dead man. And another added, at 16, Paul was lip-syncing songs on YT. At 16, Tyson was destroying other boxers. If this were to be a real fight, Paul wouldn't stand a chance. Come on I now. understand the headline might come off as a bit exaggerated, but let's address the elephant in the room. Unless there's some unexpected twist where Tyson decides to throw this match for a hefty sum, it's shaping up to be a rough night for Jake Paul. On the other hand, it appears that Jake Paul is on a mission to prove everyone wrong. He seems to be putting in all his efforts to defeat Tyson in their upcoming bout. There is new leaked footage of Jake training hard for the fight. Drama Alert recently tweeted on X saying, Jake Paul is practicing crawling out of the ring against Mike Tyson. Here is the complete footage. <laughs> Yo, the internet is stupid. <laughs> With that said, a significant Impressive. part of Tyson's preparation Impressive. seems to owe credit to Verde Valley BJJ, where Maynard James Keenan, the lead singer of Tool and a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, practices. According to Keenan, Tyson not only trained at their gym, but was also present when the renowned boxer initiated his training camp for the bout. Keenan expressed his excitement by sharing an image on his Instagram page, along with a note. He posted, Honored to have Mike Tyson grace our small town academy, Verde Valley BJJ. His training camp for Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson began under our roof. Gonna be bragging about that for a bit. Long after you all are tired of hearing about it, deal with it. Despite it being Tyson's first fight in almost 20 years, he undeniably maintains remarkable fitness and appears capable of punching through a brick wall. His footwork remains impeccable. It's hard to fathom how someone with only 10 professional fights stands any chance against the formidable force that is Tyson. Talking about the upcoming fight, heavyweight icon Tyrell Biggs said, no doubt Tyson had improved. In the amateurs, you're still green, and I was better than him at that time. Once he turned pro, he stayed at it, improved on the things he needed to improve on, and became the better fighter. He was in top form. Moreover, Biggs ultimately singled out Tyson as the most formidable fighter he had ever faced in the ring. He said, he was a big puncher, and I never felt punches harder. Everywhere he would land, it would kind of bother me. He hit me on my collarbone and broke it. I would say Tyson hit harder out of all. Adding to the chorus, Dana White has now thrown his weight behind the criticism aimed at Paul. With the announcement of the Paul versus Tyson bout, White wasted no time in articulating his unequivocal stance. He vehemently opposes such mismatch fights. In a separate statement, at the UFC 299 presser, White was asked about his opinion on the fight. He said, I don't like to see guys fighting at that age. It'd be a 31-year age difference during that fight. You guys know what I think of that stuff. One week following his remarks, White has once more taken aim at Jake Paul, this time using a meme as his ammunition. The UFC CEO recently posted a meme on his social media story depicting Paul's purported next opponent, none other than the 93-year-old Hollywood icon, Clint Eastwood. White captioned the story with a simple word, that highlights Paul's situation. Ha ha ha. Yet, insights from UFC insider and ex-UFC competitor, Kale <laughs> Sonnen, suggest that their anticipated showdown may remain a mere fantasy. A double lose situation. You lose, we all laugh and tease you and tell you you're terrible. You win, we hate you because we like him. Yeah, this was a story. Jake had to deal with it. Mike can't be in there. Chael Sonnen views the upcoming match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul as nothing more than a colossal prank. He said, I used to make so much money with Jake Paul. I used to make so much money with Mike Tyson. There are things within an industry that we would never reveal. You never expose the business. He holds the opinion that both Paul oh. and Tyson hold respectable positions in society and should uphold that image. Sonnen argues that Tyson, being older, shouldn't venture back into the boxing ring. He said, it's becoming harder and harder because there are very few things that aren't exposed 
exposed. If that comes out and it makes headwaves, the balloon that is this fight just gets popped. The contentious bout has caused a split among individuals in the boxing community, with former lightweight unified champion Amir Khan being the most recent to weigh in on the issue. Speaking to Gambling Zone, the 37-year-old said, The fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul? Wow, no one would have ever expected a fight like that fight to be made. Mike Tyson is a legend of the game and not someone who you want to mess about with. Even though he's older now and has been retired for a long time, he's obviously done a few exhibitions. Despite the criticism Paul has faced for challenging crazy, a nearly 60-year-old opponent while he's at the peak of his physical abilities, Khan has taken a different stance, issuing a harsh warning to the YouTube sensation. Khan explained, I just feel that he can really hurt Jake Paul. I just can't believe what Jake Paul's thinking. He's fighting a heavyweight great and I think he can get hurt badly. Khan expressed concern that Paul could be significantly injured due to Tyson's heavyweight boxing expertise, questioning Paul's judgment in challenging such a formidable opponent. He found the situation almost surreal and expressed a hope that Tyson would not seriously injure Paul as he harbored a liking for Jake, yet emphasized the danger of facing Mike Tyson in the ring. Khan added, is it just hype with Mike and Jake posting it at the same? This is unreal, and I hope that Mike doesn't end up hurting him, because at the end of the day, I like Jake, but Mike is not a person you want to mess with. Francis Ngannou, huh. the once reigning champion of the UFC's heavyweight division, Francis has also Ngannou? weighed in with his perspective on the issue. He said, if it comes out to be a real fight, of course, I'll be there to support Mike. He's 57 years old, but he can still kick some ass. There's no doubt about it. Regardless of the result, this event has already secured its place in the annals of sporting history, challenging Jeez. perceptions, evoking debates, and exemplifying the ever-evolving landscape of combat sports. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, oh, and ring that bell icon. So you I ain't gonna front. I'm gonna tune in to watch this fight, even though I just hate the the historical impact of what happens if Mike wins or loses. Um, like, like, come on, if Mike wins, then Jake Paul is the butt of all jokes. But if Mike loses, we're definitely gonna hate Jake, you know what I mean? But we just don't wanna see Mike get hurt. But I don't know, I think, my personal opinion, I think Mike gets him out of there, bro. I honestly think so. I don't think Mike has the stamina to last. I don't, it depends how many rounds this fight is gonna be. I don't think Mike has the stamina to go the distance. So I think Mike is going to try to get him out there in two. Prime Mike would have got him out there in 15 seconds. You know it and I know it. Y'all let me know in the comment section who you think is going to win, bro. I'm not a complete hater of this matchup because I'm going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tune in. So I can't even front like I'm not even going to watch it. But it's like, damn, bro. There's a 30-year age difference. And Mike, for you to be signing up to go back into your professional sport 30 years later, you are just truly cut different bro that's like asking someone that's like asking jordan to go back to basketball you know what i mean go back to the nba and hoop up jordan wouldn't even dare step foot you know what i mean it's just but mike can't run nothing past mike son hopefully you don't bite him neither but you know i'm gonna holler at you guys next video i'm your host gabbo say so and i'm gonna holler at you guys my bow mike tyson in two